What's up everybody, this is From the Depths Collectibles coming at you with a new custom corner video. Now in this custom corner video, we're gonna do something out of left field and that is a crab tank. Yeah, if you haven't heard about this, I suggest you Google crab tanks. It's an incredible genre of kit bashing where they take the shells of actual crabs and combine them with tank models. And I really wanna try it. I did recently eat some crab so I decided to keep the shells, clean them out, have them nice and clean. And I went to Hobby Lobby recently and picked up this tank. So I'm gonna combine them and try to make a really cool looking crab tank. Hopefully it comes out really cool and I'm gonna take you through the process. Okay, first things first is cracking open this tank and seeing what pieces we're gonna use for the crab. looks like comes with a couple of little trooper guys I might actually use these to be honest I might actually mount these guys on top of the actual crab mech himself that would actually be a pretty cool thing they even got like helmets and things like that this will be a little fun thing little side project to do all right here is everything out of the box it looks pretty dope already because I can see that they got the actual rubber treads on everything so it's gonna give it that realistic look that I really want to go for. So I'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side and we're going to check out the crab pieces that I'm going to work with. All right, here are the pieces that I'm going to use from the crab. I have the top shell, the bottom shell, and the two claws. This is going to be a pretty simple kit bash, guys, because everything is already made for me. All the pieces, either organically and or already made from the factory. So all I got to do is glue everything together uh, what I'm gonna do actually another step to uh, make sure everything is reinforced with the uh, actual crab pieces is I'm gonna fill everything in with hot glue that way there's some actual you know structure within these things because these things are actually really light and actually super delicate so I don't want you know that breaking or anything like that so I'm gonna reinforce everything with some hot glue All right, I am finished with filling the entire crab full of hot glue. It took a ton of hot glue sticks, RIP to that entire bag of hot glue sticks that I had, but it was well worth it because it filled up the thing and reinforced the crab. So it's not so, so brittle. So now it has some like, you know, actual, you know, weight to it and everything like that. And it won't break so easily. So I did also, glue the uh, arms into position the position I want to do I want them open nice and wide so it looks really cool and I'm gonna keep the uh, top shell and the bottom shell separate for right now uh, I do want to make the uh, tank pieces and see what I want to do with it and then I will glue everything together that way if I have to move things around or you know take things apart I don't have to pry off a bunch of glue or anything like that. So I'm going to leave it open for right now. That is step one complete. Now let's take a look at the tank. I will be using some of these smaller pieces as I'm looking at the pieces. There are some really cool like detail pieces like oil canisters and little antennas, you know, machine guns and whatnot, probably some turrets and stuff like that. You know, all of that's gonna go on top of the crab and give it a little bit more of a technical aesthetic. So I'm gonna do all of this stuff off camera, guys, because it is kind of a technical thing and I don't wanna bore you guys with, you know, me figuring things out and I kinda wanna save some, you know, space on my memory card. So I'll get back to you guys once I figure out everything that I wanna do. So all I have to do now is add these details to the crab with some glue and I will also add some more stuff, probably some little antennas and things like that to the crab to make it a little bit more realistic. Then I will hit everything with primer and start the painting process. So let's go ahead and start gluing these pieces to the crab.
there is the gluing process complete it took not that much time guys because like i said all this stuff was already pre-made all i had to do was just cut the pieces down like all of this panel work and stuff like that and glue it to the crab itself so let's take a closer look here is the top of the crab as you can see it has all of these extra details that i put on here put some antennas uh some hatches they had some gas tanks and even this really cool little like you know emergency tool set with the shovel and axe and everything so i added all of this stuff you know some lights on the front the turret and we got the hatch right here obviously we have the uh cannon itself so it looks pretty dope this was pretty easy now for the body itself we did add some pieces from the tank itself to the uh, arms that way it had some more of a mechanical look to it and that way it has a couple of more you know armored pieces I'm gonna keep everything separate for right now so I can primer everything, make sure everything is covered with that primer completely. So the next step is hitting everything with primer. Here's the crab after hitting everything with primer. Uh, I did add a last minute uh, addition to the back of this. There was a longer piece here for an antenna, but I decided to go with a little shorter version of it. So I added that last minute after I did the primer. It's not gonna really matter if I primed it or not because I'm gonna still paint everything. Now the next step is to do a camo. I'm thinking, you know, going with a desert camo. Uh, you know, it's kind of a cool idea for a crab to be in the desert. So my plan is to hit everything with a tan base coat first. That way I have a nice base to work off of. Then I'll start adding in the camouflage details over everything. And then I'll start doing all the details like the guns, uh, these little uh, tool racks and the gas canisters back there. All right, here is the base tan coat that we're gonna go for. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and build up some shadow at the bottom using a darker brown, almost like a black almost. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and touch up some of the lighter spots with some highlights. Then we're gonna go ahead and blotch on the camouflage that we're gonna do. And after that, we'll just add the details to the little pieces and we're done. So let's go ahead and move on to the shadowing.
now that the camouflage is finished i went ahead and did a little bit of detailing on the shell uh since the top shell has a lot more going on i went ahead and started dry brushing it with some silver you know a little bit of rust effects uh i am still touching it up but this is what i got so far it looks pretty good i am gonna do some details some more dark washes within the you know little cracks and creases of you know all the technical stuff that they got going on in here and then i'm gonna move on and show the process that i did on the top show with the uh legs and the claws that way i can show you guys what i did on the top show and how the whole process works so let's go ahead and get into the legs right now so as you can see here are the legs there's the bottom i went ahead and kind of hit the bottom with some you know darker browns to give it a little bit of a shadow so it's not so plain underneath there and i did also hit the legs with the camouflage and the claws so now what i'm going to do is give the same treatment that i gave the top shell to the claws and to all the legs and everything and we are finished then after that i'll just probably either glue this top shell to the legs or honestly i might just leave it as is that way i could you know separate the pieces if i need to in case anything breaks or anything falls apart i can take it apart and fix it so i think i'm going to keep it in two pieces it does fit together really nicely and that way you know in case anything happens i can always just you know put it back together So here are the legs and the claws finished guys like i said all i wanted to do was go for a nice rusty battle worn look that way you know it looks like the claws and the legs have been you know going through like you know terrain and blocking artillery and you know stuff like that so that is it for the legs i am going to go ahead and start doing the small details like adding like a little bit of a oil dark wash to the little creases and stuff in the armor that way it can make it pop look a little bit better give it a little bit of better contrast and that's it guys that is the crab finished so let's go ahead and get to the dark wash Alrighty, we are finished with the crab tank and it is looking really, really awesome, guys. It's looking really, really cool. Here's a little close up of the top shell. And some of the claws. So it is actually pretty cool. Like I said, I'm gonna keep the uh, top shell and the bottom shell separate. 
that way just in case anything happens or if I want to pose him in different directions like that or like this I can do that that way he's not just in one static pose this was a really fun project guys because not only did I do my first kit bash I also used an actual animal to do this kit bash and this crab was delicious when I ate him thank you for your service crab and your body made a perfect you know frame for this tank you know starting this project i thought it was going to be a lot harder than it was but honestly this was the most fun and easiest project i ever undertook and it's a unique one that's for sure because this is part taxidermy and part kit bashing in a way so this is kind of a taxidermy uh crab that i turned into a tank so that's kind of cool if you guys are interested in this all you have to do is just get yourself a simple tank model kit and a crab from the store and just cook it eat it clean it out and start building it is a fun thing to do like on a weekend or something like that and it does lend to a lot of creativity so it's not a you know you have to follow my guide or the way that i made my tank there is tons of ways to do these tanks to do these crabs you could use different types of crabs different types of tanks make them in different poses if you want to add stuff to them or take away stuff it's all up to you and your creativity it is a fun thing to do and something i recommend everybody should do if they're into kit bashing now if you like these kinds of videos guys be sure to like and subscribe to from the depths collectibles because we bring you all kinds of content here like toy hunts toy hauls and the custom corner right here we do all kinds of things not just toys as you can see here with this crab so if you're interested in any of this be sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this and remember i'm from the depths collectibles and i'll see you guys next time